Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for this year's um, Give Education Event Basics and Platform Overview webinar. Um, we're super excited to be here with you all. Uh, we're going to give it a second, let everybody get settled. Um, if you are here, we'd love to hear what organization you're representing. So you can just say hello, type your org name into the chat, um, and we'll get started in a second. Alrighty, we're going to get started. So again, welcome. Um, thank you for taking time out of your day to join us for our first webinar. Um, we have a lot to cover. Uh, just a little housekeeping note. Um, the webinar is going to be recorded today, so I will be uploading that and then we'll be adding it to the um, fundraising toolkit. And I know Carrie is going to pass that along to everyone as well. Um, but just to get started, we have um, an agenda we're going to cover. Um, just to welcome you all again, my name is Sarah. I am the project coordinator with Mighty Cause, and we are the platform provider for Give Education Day. Um, we're super excited to be here again with you all. Um, so if you have been here before, welcome back. And if you're new, we're excited to have you. Um, I have some other lovely people joining me on the call as well that I'm going to introduce in a moment. But just to cover the agenda real quick, um, we're going to kind of highlight, you know, ways to get ready uh, because this is a wonderful national movement for K-12 education. We'll talk a little bit about the benefits of participating in the event. Um, of course, I will walk you through pages and just, you know, the different platform overview and the tools that we have available to help you have a successful campaign. Um, we'll talk through next steps once we get through the webinar, and then we'll also chat through resources um, and we'll have some Q&A. So a lot to accomplish. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to our host, Alumni Nations, Jonathan. Fantastic. Thank you. So hi, everyone. My name is Jonathan Rivera. I just wanted to take a quick moment to represent the team here at Alumni Nations and share our excitement for this program. We are proud and honored to be sponsors of Give Education Day. For us, it was an easy decision, an easy investment, because this is, this is what we're passionate about. This is an absolute passion for us. So we hope you find success. We hope you find success in engaging with those in your community and really anywhere around the world, right? With how this program set up, we hope you find success in engaging with these individuals that believe in what you're doing. They're out there. We know they are. And, and oftentimes they simply need to be asked because they know not where to go or how to find help, how to contribute, how to give. Uh, they just need to be asked. So we're just so happy and we want to, I guess, finally, just say thank you uh, to you and to your organization uh, for supporting K-12 education. You're making a huge difference in the lives of students. You made a difference in my life and my, my, four, my four kiddos' lives, um, and so we're just so grateful. So with that, from all of us at Alumni Nations, we wish you the very best uh, in Give Education Day 2024. So thanks. Awesome. And I'm going to pass it over to you, Carrie, as well. Great. Thank you. Hello, my name is Carrie Dayton, and I am one of the administrators to help all of you with the Give Education Day. We are here as a resource for you to make sure that you get your profile set up, to make sure that you're maximizing your ability to fundraise and reach out to your communities. Let's talk about Give Education. I, honestly, this is a tremendously passionate a project that I'm extremely passionate about. Like Jonathan said, you know, we have all been touched by education in some way or another. And so it only makes sense that we have a day to celebrate education across this country. This is a national movement that's supporting K through 12 education institutions and organizations across all 50 states. And when Alumni Nations came to me and said, hey, we think we want to do this. I thought, why isn't this being done already? So the fact that you're on this call and thinking about joining us or perhaps already have registered is, is, is fantastic because you see the vision as well. Um, like Jonathan said, I actually you know, have a wonderful high school that I went to. I don't know how to donate to them, but if they sent me an email or I saw on Facebook and they said, hey, we're raising money for Give Education Day, I would absolutely 
click on the link and donate money. So sometimes people just need to be asked. We all have that school or that organization that we were so proud to be a part of or helped change our lives. And today's the Give Education Day is the day to celebrate that and give back. And so Alumni Nations, we're trying to make this easy for you to go out and reach out to your donors and your supporters. And not only that, but then capitalize on your donors' networks. Well, the wonderful thing about Give Education day is it's one day that celebrates you know education and encourages people to donate but it builds through social media so i can go on and say hey i donated to my high school all of you alumni that graduated in my class don't forget to join don't forget to donate today as well so you really start that snowball effect through social media when your donors have the opportunity to be cheerleaders for you uh, a few a few other things about give education it is one day wednesday march 6th however we do open up early giving on february 7th so that's your opportunity to reach out to donors electronically or via social media or email and say hey we're participating in give education day on March 6th. However, if you're on vacation or whatever, don't worry, click here and donate today. So you do have the option to get donations all the way through from February 7th to um, the end of March 6th. A minimum donation is $10 per donor. And we just need you to be a 501c3 organization with an NCES code. Um, so everybody's invited to apply as long as you meet those criteria. And you do need to register. We can't tell and share the news about your organization, nor can you. If you're not, if you don't register on the Mighty Cause platform, which is a software platform that we use to help you raise the funds. Next slide. So let's talk about benefits of participating. Normally on this call, we've had the blessing to have Central High School Foundation out of Omaha, Nebraska participate. Unfortunately, Josh was unavailable, but he can certainly speak. He has certainly spoken in the past to the benefits of participating. It's a really easy way. So if I can speak on his behalf, a really easy way to raise funds for your organization within a short time frame. We found that, you know, if you allow several months for people to donate, they keep saying, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. But with one day, they feel the sense of urgency. And so through that, it's a great way to jumpstart and get moving quickly to raise funds. It's a wonderful way to educate the public about your cause. And also because of that snowballing effect I talked about through social media, potentially draw additional donors to your cause. Um, it activates your supporters. And again, laps donor, I wanna to donate to my high school foundation. I just don't know how. Um, it's a great opportunity to say, hey, Carrie, write that check. And I, I, I would if they reached out to me. Um, a new thing, and we'll touch on this again at the end, but a new thing that we've got going on this year is thanks to the Comer Family Foundation, we are able to give a $100 prize to participating organizations as long as you raise a minimum of, of $100 through one special unique donor or many. So in other words, if you sign up and on Give Education Day, you raise $100, then we will match that with $100 from our account to yours. Um, so there's a great opportunity here to, again, build and capitalize on the money that you raise with um, the $100 that we're able to give you. Thanks, Sarah. Next slide. Go ahead. Unmuting myself. Um, so the first thing that you will definitely need to do, like Carrie said, you need to register your organization in order to participate in this year's Give Education Day. Um, super simple. You're just going to go to the Give Education Day website and you'll click register. Um, it'll bring you to a short form. It'll prompt you to either search for your organization name or EIN um, and it'll have you log in uh, or create an account on the platform if you're brand new. Um, but if you, like Carrie was saying, all education focused nonprofits with a 501c3 tax exempt status, or if you're a school with an NCS, NCES code, you're all welcome to uh, participate and give education day. Um, once you are registered, um, you'll also be able to, and you're approved, um, you'll also be able to go in and make changes to your page if you participated last year. If you're brand new, you'll be able to edit your page. Um, and Carrie and I are going to kind of walk you through that. And then I have extensive slides showing you how uh, to edit. Um, but then you can also add or remove any administrators if you need. Um, and just a reminder that the deadline to register is going to be February 21st this year. And so I had asked Sarah as well, when I first started working four or five years ago with Mighty Cause, I didn't understand 
what it looked like to have a finalized page. So I asked Sarah, just before she starts talking to you about building your page, what a good example of what your page would look like. So give education day, you're going to send out emails, social media saying, hey, click on this link and donate to our organization. Central High School Foundation has raised tens of thousands of dollars to give education day every year and they have a good page. And so I wanted to show you kind of what the finished product would look like. You can see when your donor clicks on the link that you'll provide, it takes them straight to a finalized page with your organization's name, really big donate here button, it shows the goal that they're, they're looking to raise. And then if Sarah scrolls down a little bit more, you'll see the mission about Central High School Foundation. There's testimonials of people who, who value the Central High School Foundation so your donors can see that other people are supporting the organization that you care about. And then there's also a section for videos and or media galleries. And I would really encourage you to throw some pictures up. Um, people love seeing what is happening at, the, at your organization and how the money is being spent. It really ties them to, um, to you. And it, as, as a donor, it helps me see where my money goes and it makes me feel better because I know it just didn't go into a dark hole. So please, you know, take some time when you're filling out your page. I think the more that you fill out the page and Sarah's gonna talk to you about that, the more likely you are to close on larger donations. Sarah, thank you for taking a minute to show everybody what that final product look like, looks like. Yeah. Hop back into the slideshow. Um, all right, so for this segment, we're going to kind of walk through um, the platform and the tools available to you so you can help hopefully have a really wonderful and successful uh, campaign this year. Um, so just kind of put platform feature highlights like a large, I know, top level overview. Um, Mighty Cause, we offer you customizable organization pages, um, custom donation levels. Um, you can set up your own matching matching grants during the event. We have peer-to-peer -peer fundraising capability. Of course, we have very robust donation reports, um, or donor retention reports. You can create a custom thank you page. Um, and then we also just have extensive resource library, really great tools, um, and just different resources for you to hopefully you know, be able to successfully plan your campaign from start to finish. Um, so first things first, um, accessing your organization page, um, easy, go to the site, click login, it's going to prompt you to sign in uh, or create an account, so it says login or sign up if you're brand new. Um, you can log in through Google or you can just create um, an account with your email address. Um, once you are logged in, you'll be able to see at the top right hand corner, there'll be a little you know, image and your name. Um, and it'll show you organizations that you are an approved administrator of. Um, so you'll be able to see that. That's how you're going to access your page directly. You'll just click that drop down, click your um, organization page, and then you'll be able to go in and start making edits. Um, one thing I like to call out, if you are brand new, uh, maybe somebody led the campaign last year and you plan on leading it this year, you're a new admin, just by filling out the registration form, um, you are automatically also requesting admin access to your organization profile. So admin requests are actually reviewed by our Mighty Cause support team. Um, and so you can expect somewhere around two to three business days for an approval. You'll get a separate email for registration approval and you'll get a separate email for your admin approval. Um, and sometimes that you know looks like you've been approved maybe because you have like your school email address or maybe you have a separate email. Um, and sometimes we'll need additional details just to verify because of all the sensitive donor information that um, you'll have access to. Um, but when you are logged in, um, just like I was showing you Central High School's uh, page, you'll be having uh, your organization dashboard on the left hand side of your screen. Um, and just a quick walkthrough, you'll have your overview. That's where you can see a quick kind of to do list. These are just kind of recommended items that we suggest you to definitely double check or fill out if you're brand new. Um, things like, you know, setting up your direct deposit for disbursements, um, filling out your organization page, your thank you page, making sure you have a logo, things like that. Um, all of those, the more you fill out on your page and the more you make it look like a finished, you know, piece, the more likely donors are going to take your page seriously, know that you're involved in the event, um, and it just looks better overall, which, you know, encourages more gifts to be made to your organization. Organization page on the left is where you're going to customize your profile, tell your story, add in that media gallery, 
Um, fundraising tools is where you're going to manage all of your fundraising efforts. So that's, you know, your peer to peer, maybe fundraising campaigns, setting up matching grants, um, reports is where you're going to find your reports. You'll be able to find your retention reports. If you are a previous participant, um, perhaps last year you participated, you can pull that report, uh, see which donors gave last year's campaign, but haven't given this year. Um, we also have the checkout, which you can customize that experience. Um, and then, of course, your settings. So if you need to add any additional admins or anything like that, that's where you can go. Um, this is another example of a very well filled out organization page. So you can see um, logo, banner. Um, it just looks really nice. Banners, usually with less text, are going to be more effective because you probably already have a logo that has text. Um, but there's enough text on the page that you really don't need to fill your banner with a lot of text. Um, making sure that you update your goal bar for this year's event so you can set your metrics, your goal bar. Um, you can also opt to include a fundraise button. This one doesn't show you one, but there is a toggle. It's always on. You can choose to hide it if you prefer. Um, but this easily allows people to go to your organization page, click fundraise, and start a peer-to-peer -peer campaign um, on your organization's behalf. Um, then you can update your about section. People really want to know where their funds are going to in your, you know, in your school, whatever that looks like. Um, so this is kind of an example that I thought was really good, um, why you should support them during their campaign. Uh, and they also took this space to thank community partners. So if you have any community partners that you want to call out, you can also add them um, to that section as well. Um, but it's all on page editing. Um, so all the edits that you make directly to your page, you'll be able to see in real time. You'll be able to get that sense of what a donor is seeing. Um, you can bold things, highlight things, uh, add photos. It's very customizable, which is really nice. Um, you can also, oops, I'm scrolling like it's a page. Um, there's also a featured campaign section. So if you do have peer-to-peer -peer fundraising efforts happening, you can highlight those, which is really nice. Um, and then additionally, as you scroll down, there's a giving activity feed. So if your donors, you know, you want them to be displayed on your page and thanking them in real time and just giving them added visibility, that's really nice. That's something that you can optionally toggle on or toggle off. Um, so those are all, you know, different parts of the page. So definitely take some time and go through and update if you were a previous participant, you know, get rid of, you know, 2020, gosh, last year is 2023, get rid of all like out of date, you know, things and just make sure it's all current. Um, so kind of narrowing in a little bit more on this, um, logos will be one to one uh, ratios. Um, so basically square images, if you have a social image, a Facebook image for your logo, like usually people will use the same one. Um, you can also set a theme color, which I think is something that not everyone is aware of. So if you have specific colors that your uh, organization uses, like for instance, this one is using a dark vibrant blue, you can customize what color these buttons on your page will be, which is really fun. Um, but overall, your profile page, your URL, that's what you're going to be sharing with supporters, and then also um, your donation form. So you can choose, do you want to put a direct form, a direct link to donate? in your emails, maybe that would be helpful. Or do you want them to go to your page and really see like your campaign efforts and where you are and your goals and stuff like that. Um, but as you work down, you can tell your story. Like I was saying, um, there's all inline editor, which means you can make edits directly to your page. Um, you can move photos around, you can add different colors, different heading sizes. You can also add a, um, a fun little custom tab. So um, on the example Carrie was showing, they had a testimonials tab. So you could create a testimonials tab. You could also do like a deeper dive into what, you know, different donation levels are going to, what impact it's going to have on your organization. So if you wanted to break that down further, um, I do encourage everyone to make use of it. I uh, just think it adds another fun dynamic to the page and just more information. Um, but overall, just really think about what you want to get out of participating in Give Education Day and make sure that you are getting across that message as clearly and quickly as possible. Um, think about the fact that, you know, donors, when they come to your page, you probably have all of maybe eight seconds to kind of grab their attention and get your ask across. So you don't want to think about like, too much text, um, really think about, you know, a good 
flow of photos and videos and kind of bulleted points because uh, you want to try to keep their attention. Um, but you can update your pay, your profile page and this content at any time. There's there's no deadline to really. Um, I mean, there is a deadline. Like you want to get it done probably before early giving or before, of course, the giving day. But if you want to go in and uh, make an adjustment to your goal, maybe you met your goal, you can go in and update that just to keep momentum going. Um, so this is something that you can always update. Um, going into some of the tools on the platform to help you, um, we have a really great matching grant tool set up found under your fundraising tools. Um, the goal is for you to secure your own matching grant. So maybe you have community partners or you have an alumni who is willing to give you, you know, a matching grant amount, um, but you can set these up um, and you can um, basically queue them one after another if you have multiples there's a lot of different parameters that we are um, kind of give you ability to edit so whether you want to match dollars one to one it's very customizable um, so take some time look into that if you have not done matches before i encourage you to try them out get your toes wet it's a really effective way to kind of get donors to give during specific times. Maybe there's a lull during the day. Uh, maybe you have a full day match and it's just a really great marketing tool for you as well. So definitely check that out. Take some time, look over. It's also fun once you, you know, once you've a little bit more comfortable with matches, you can start to work with your grantor and maybe get a little more creative. Um, and that just overall is going to make the grantor feel very seen by you. Uh, which is, you know, always a good thing. Peer to peer campaigns and templates is going to also be found under fundraising tools. This is where you're going to see all of your peer to peer efforts or any campaigns that maybe you might have set up in the past or last year. A good, you know, housekeeping thing is to just go to your campaigns if you are a previous participant and maybe clear out um, toggle discoverability is what it's called. So you'll just hide any out of date campaigns. Uh, campaigns that you don't want showing up in Give Education Days search this year. So go through and take a look at that. Um, this is also where you're going to create a fundraiser template, which really overall just helps um, people who want to fundraise for you. It helps them not have to start from scratch. So basically you get one, uh, one fundraiser template as part of participating in Give Education Day. If you used it last year, you'll want to go in and make any updates or tweaks. Um, if you're new, then you can set kind of a streamlined look for your pages. You can add a fundraising goal. You can add an image. Maybe you want to have your logo on there. If you can add, you know, custom messaging, maybe you want your mission statement or any information added. The donor, not the donor, the participant can then go in and they can tweak anything they want. So if maybe the 500 goal feels too big to them, they can go in and they can update it to 250, say. But this is a really good way to kind of cut um, the fear out of starting from a blank page. So I definitely recommend everyone to review their template or set one up. Reporting is also as we work through your dashboard. Um, so this is where you're gonna go to grab all of your data. So donation reports, if you wanna see them in real time, you can pull donation reports uh, starting, you know, as soon as early giving starts for this year. You can also look at last year's donation reports if you want to start to compare like when were we getting the most gifts during the day, maybe we want to focus our efforts, you know, between these hours because we saw a lot of gifts during that time so that's a way you can kind of start to use your data. Um, to plan your campaign for this year uh, offline donations, you can add here, you can also view your retention reports. Something to note that all admins on your organization are going to receive email notifications when a donor makes a gift. So if you know somebody on there doesn't want to get notifications every time a gift is made, they can go ahead into their own user account and under settings, they can turn off that option. Um, but yeah, so this is where you're gonna go. You can sort your campaign by event year. And then you can also set your time periods. So if you want to look specifically like during early giving last year, you can set those time period dates and you can pull that data. Um, like I was talking about retention reports, you can also definitely work this into your campaign strategy this year if you are a previous participant. Um, easily go to your retention report button, click it, and then filter by campaign event type. So you'll select um, the 2024 event. Once we start getting data, you'll be able to go in and you'll be able to see in real time which donors gave last year that have not given during this year's event. 
So that's really important information. Those are key people that you're going to want to reach out to, you know, pull that um, CVS report, pull those emails, throw it into your email, you know, system, and then send a note that just says, hey, you donated during last year's Give Education Day campaign. Here's how you can make a gift this year. So be sure to work that into your timeline and your strategy. Um, you can start, you know, pulling these reports as soon as early giving begins this year. Working through, we have our checkout flow. This is definitely something you'll also want to check up on, um, making sure that you know you have a couple different options when it comes to how much donor dollars uh, to give, some suggested amounts, and then also their impact. So for this example, you know, $25 a school project targeting teacher retention. So whatever those dollar amounts that you want to suggest, just make sure that you put kind of a description. It's not required, but I will say it goes a long way in helping donors decide how much to give and also maybe encouraging them to give a little more. Perhaps, you know, they wanted to come in giving $25, but they saw, oh, this, you know, $75 gets me this. Well, that sounds really, really great. I would love to, you know, be able to support that. So being able to go in and just review donor um, suggested levels from last year or add them fresh this year, we always suggest between four and six. We find that that doesn't overwhelm donors too much. Um, if you add too many, they get a little overwhelmed uh, and we don't want that. So keeping it between four to six is really the sweet spot. Um, and then you can go ahead and just kind of, it's really nice part of you know what's really special about Mighty Cause is everything that you're seeing while you make edits um, is what the donor sees. So you can kind of get a feel in real time um, do I have too many donation levels? Would I feel overwhelmed if I was looking at this donor, you know, checkout form? So something to just keep in mind. Um, oh, I also wanted to um, mention your donor form is also where you can collect additional information. So if you wanted to collect phone numbers, that's not something that we automatically collect. So if you are, a, you know, a school that likes to follow up with donors via call, you'll definitely want to add one additional question um that collects that donor information post checkout flow as we continue across so we just looked at donation form thank you page this is definitely something you'll also want to add some content to just a quick message maybe a video or a photo thanking your donors for their gift during give education day this year um, it goes a long way. I know, you know, most organizations hopefully have a, a larger follow up plan in place for donors, but this is just a special quick thank you that the platform will show them as soon as they click donate. So I'll click that donate button and then this page will pop up with your thank you message. It's also a good place where you can add an additional call to action button. So right here you can see kind of small it says learn more. Where do you want them to go when they see your thank you? Do you want them to sign up for a newsletter? Do you want them to just go check out, you know, your school's website? Um, thinking about what would be a good next step for them, you can add a little button there. And like I said, you can preview this. This just looks exactly like it would look pretty much to the donor. Um, so you can kind of decide formatting, you can bold things. Um, it's all on page editing, which is really nice. Um, additional settings, kind of some key highlights here. This is where you're going to go to add or remove admins. So if you have people on your admin list for your organization who are no longer maybe with the, your organization, you want to remove those. So you can go in, you can make you know changes. You can add new people. Maybe you have additional people who need to be attached to the page. Maybe you have um, like a reporting kind of someone who does specific reporting for the event, um, you'll want to get them added so that they can access that data. Um, this is also where you can go to update any legal addresses. So if you need to make any updates, if you want, you can update your disbursement settings. You can sign up for EFT um, so that you're not getting a check. Uh, we always encourage everyone to sign up for EFT because you'll get you know, your money twice a month rather than once a month via check. Um, and then you won't be subject to that $5 check fee as well. So we always encourage, if you can, set up EFT. You can also update your social share information. Uh, you can add a little picture, a description. Um, so just kind of go through and take the time to make sure if you were a previous participant um, that all your dates are right. Sometimes you'll see a social card that says 2022. <laughs> 
um, because it's just something that not a lot of people check, but definitely take the time and make sure all your dates are current. Um, so once you've kind of filled out your entire organization page, you're feeling good, um, you know, the basics are done, you've built out your fundraising kind of template, you're probably thinking, what do I do next? So if you're registered, if you've customized your page, you're really going to want to start to plan your fundraising campaign. So what is it that you are fundraising for? What do you want to get out of participating in Give Education Day? Um, Carrie went over just a wonderful list of you know, benefits of participating. So kind of thinking those through, um, talking with you know, your school, figuring out like, are we fundraising for something specific? Um, just kind of goal setting is definitely like where you want to start. And then you'll want to start promoting via socials, email. Maybe you want to have an event. Maybe you want you know, to start talking about it in a very public way, kind of creating a timeline um, so that you can, from start to finish, just have a really successful campaign. Timelines are going to be key to keeping your campaign on track and your momentum going. Um, then you'll want to activate supporters. So this usually looks like reaching out to community sponsors, talking to maybe your, you know, school board anybody who's like connected to your organization that maybe has a larger network would be good to to activate um, see if they want to do some peer-to-peer -peer fundraising uh, kind of thinking about how you can extend your reach so it's not just you trying to fundraise the more you know people you can leverage and get involved the more success you're gonna feel and see um, like i was saying invite supporters fundraise on those peer to, to participate as peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers um, we're actually going to have a pre-recorded webinar that I'm going to be doing that's all about peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, so look out for that in the coming weeks. Um, and then start thinking about how you can secure matching grants. If you've never done them, just start simple, do a one-to-one -one match. Maybe you have you know, an alumni or somebody who is willing to make a gift and you know, it doesn't have to be a huge amount, it can be something smaller like 250 uh, but any matching grant size is really going to help keep momentum up and encourage gifts and it's also just something to talk about so it's nice to say you know send out an email that says between this hour to this hour we have a matching grant live make your gift now to really double your impact um, so thinking about securing matching grants and then of course just overall raising money for your school or foundation um, so I want to cover some of the resources and support that is available to you. Of course, Carrie's awesome, so you can always reach out to Carrie uh, if you have questions about participating or just any type of kind of general questions. If you have more platform related specific questions or technical questions or maybe a donor needs a receipt resent to them, you can just email our Mighty Cause support and we'll be quick to help take care of that. Um, so that email is support at mightycause.com. Um, and then we have, you know, just, of course, as usual, a wonderful resource library for Give Education under resources, fundraising toolkit. Um, you can see kind of important dates to keep track of. We also have support resources. We have Mighty Cause support information available to you. But we also have a bunch of kind of downloadable PDFs to help you start building your campaign. So timelines, tips, we have templates, email templates, things to really kind of take some of the lift off so that you can then focus on the fundraising efforts themselves. So you can customize these emails, um, and then, of course, if you have questions, review the FAQs. A lot of the information is there. You can just copy paste into any emails you need. And I want to just give a quick shout out. I know so many of you are one person shops, maybe, you know, it's one individual that's trying to do everything. And so use these resources. We, we, we built those with you in mind, thinking, how can we make this easy, right, to be able to promote and get things off the ground? So. Um, and then, of course, uh, Mighty Cause also has a wonderful resource center. Um, some quick little picks for you. We have a blog. We have ebooks you can download specific to giving events. Um, we have pre-recorded webinars, which are really nice too. So we have a, an extensive library of on-demand kind of different topics. We have one specifically about matching grants. We have one specifically about kind of peer-to-peer -peer fundraising or how to activate your board, different things like that. So definitely go and just kind of browse and see if there's anything that maybe would help you out this year. Um, and then again, general questions, you can email giveeducation at alumninations.com. Technical and support, go ahead and send those over to Mighty Cause.
I'll pass that to you, Carrie. Leslie, um, thank you, Sarah. I just wanted to, these are a couple of testimonials. You guys can certainly review them on our website when this webinar has been posted. Um, one of the things, Sarah, as I was listening to you talk that I want to stress to those that are on the call, and it looks like the majority of you are new or considering joining um, rather than past returning participants. Um, it really, there's, you can make this as time consuming or as not time consuming as you would like, right? So at a minimum, it's about a 45 minute from beginning to end, getting your profile set up and getting, and that's, if you were going really slow, right? And so at that point, we have really provided, and one of these testimonials says, hey, it's really turnkey, which Jonathan pointed out as well. If you go into that toolkit on the website, there are literally email templates that you copy, paste into your email, change your organization's name and hit send. So at a minimum, I mean, it's great if we all think about, you know, it'd be, we'd love to come up with really creative ideas, that type of thing. You can, if you have the time, but if you're limited on time and you still want the opportunity to raise money, we've done everything that we can to create a toolkit for you that you can just copy, paste, send. And so it's really, don't let the time frame intimidate you. Um, we have seen organizations sign up you know, right about now, get their profile sent. And just with some social media posts, we're able to start achieving the goals because again, you're getting that snowball effect with other people promoting what you're doing. So I don't, you know, make it as detailed and spend as much time on it as you would like, or at least get going and get started so that you don't lose out on the opportunity to raise funds. And if you don't get a matching grant, that's okay. Get your feet wet this year, next year, get the matching grant. Right, so don't don't let that stop you, Sarah, next page. And then just that reminder, we're very excited this year again, even if you just raise $100 and you're a participating organization with all the 501c3 and all of the, you know, all of that type of thing, you will get a $100 match courtesy of the Comer Family Foundation. So at a minimum, try and raise $100. But I know that what will happen is you'll raise more. You'll get that 100 and then you'll get another 200 and the 300 and then our $100 will just be a nice little gift. And, and, and so don't hesitate, get started. My team, Sharon and I are here to help you. So if you run into questions or challenges, you can certainly email us, we'll get you taken care of. And I can honestly say the Mighty Cause support team, they respond very quickly. So don't hesitate if it's a technical question to respond to them or to send them an email, they will get back to you very soon. I know sometimes you're working on this on a Saturday because you don't have time to do this on Monday through Friday. They'll respond quickly on Monday. Um, so don't hesitate, You know, I, I guess my point to you is jump, make it happen because doing something is better than doing nothing in my opinion when it comes to this and you'll see how easy it can be all of the schools that participate like so many of them are returning year after year because they've learned it's just a great easy way to help achieve your goals financially thank you sarah awesome well if anyone has any questions um you can send those through the chat or the q a button um we'll wait and see if anyone has any questions in the meantime, well, everyone's thinking um, this is being recorded, so we were going to upload it to the toolkit and then the slides will also be available to you. So you don't have to listen to me talk again. You can just look at all of the beautiful slides. Sarah, we did have a question come across uh, in the chat and it says, as a newcomer, does it make sense to identify a lower fund goal? Sure, absolutely. I can tell you in my experience, you know, we've had, we've had some organizations say, hey, we just want to raise $500 for some teacher kits that will go into the classroom and provide supplies. Um, and those organizations that did that hit that $500 very easily. So um, I think, 100% if that's what you're more comfortable with, I would recommend going ahead, setting that lower goal, get, seeing what it feels like, and then next year go higher. Um, it, you'll find that the that as long as you're promoting it through social media and sending out your emails to your network, you will raise money and you'll start to see how easy it becomes um, using this platform. So I, I do think, sure, if that, do it. Absolutely. Get that lower goal in there and just give it a shot. I'll add that it also just kind of depends on Michelle, the, the, you know, the relationship that you've kind of already built with your community uh, and with your alumni, if you're coming at it cold, right. And this is the first time you're ever asking for, 
for funds, then yeah, it's, it's maybe smart to start uh, a little bit lower. But if, if this is part of something, some nurturing and relationship you've built, then, um, then you, you, you should feel confident and comfortable asking for more because you've been giving, 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 and now you're asking, right, to them to, to participate in this. I'll also add, um, if you meet your goal during Give Education Day, feel free to update your bar, you know, update your goal, make a stretch goal. Um, don't feel like just because you met your goal that you have to stop fundraising. Um, encourage more gifts. Thank everyone for everything they've done. You know, you're blown away by the support and can they take you to your stretch goal? So that's something that you can always kind of have in the back pocket as well. Yeah, it's perfect. Any other questions? I think we might be good. If you do think of anything that you need, um, Carrie's available, you can send her an email. If you have technical questions, go ahead and send those over to us um, at Mighty Cause. And we're just, we're really excited to be here supporting you all for another awesome Give Education Day. So thanks for joining us. Okay, bye, thanks everyone. everyone. Thank you everyone.